Hello and welcome to another episode of W Electronics. Um, today we're going to look at a um, commercial modulator made by Holland Electronics, model number HPM55. It takes analog. It takes analog video and audio signals and converts it to CATV signals that your TV would receive. This one's set up for channel 3, so you'd set your TV to channel 3 and then um, in the back you'd plug in your video and audio signal in and then here's video in, there's audio in, and then there's the RF out that goes to your TV. So on the front there's a negative 30 dB test output. I guess this would be for a, like a test monitor or something. There's RF output, audio deviation, aerial carrier, video modulation, and then the channel number. On the back, it's just the mains power cord and a little um, output power warning sticker, two warranty stickers, and okay, that's all in the back. There, there isn't much, there isn't much out input and output, but I think the inside is going to be very interesting because it has a PLL controlled oscillator in it, so to create left, less drift in the output signal. It features a 54 to 300 megahertz modulation range and a 70 ohm, 75 ohm output standard. It all, it all uses RG6 cable type F connector, RG6 coax cable. Okay, well, let's tear it apart and see what's inside. So it's just standard Phillips screws in the back. Oh, it just pops off. Spring loaded. Oh, oh, and we're in. Ta -da. Hey, I thought that'd be, huh? Well, let's just start from the. Um, main side of it and then work our way down. Let's get in for a closer shot. Okay, so right here is just the main transformer and the bridge rectifier diodes, filter caps, probably some linear regulators. Take a look at the numbers on them. Yeah, there's a L, L805 and L, L812, so there's five, five volt regulator and 12 volt regulator in there. And there's a, the power good light right there, just coming out to the front panel. So that's all the power supply stuff. So, hey, there's a whole bunch of dip switches right here, supposedly to select the different um, output frequencies. There's a pick device in there, which is pretty interesting. Let's see what the number on it is that on the pick is. So that that's a pick 16 CS 4C which I don't know what do you think that does? Maybe that um since all these dip switches are kind of close to it, I'd think that maybe it handles the um it converts this dip switches into and uh, like the control how to um, the changes the output frequency. 
maybe. <laughs> What's that running at? Four megahertz. There's a four megahertz crystal right over there. And there's a nice, uh, nice tab going up to the top panel to provide some shielding. And in this, and in the in the can, there must be some um, oscillator or something in there. Some little inductors that are have a little wax on them to keep them so they don't vibrate around and fall off the board or <laughs> something. Yeah, just a lot of a lot of discrete components. Hey, maybe that pick uh, does the PLL loop because I don't see any more I don't see any more chips on this board at all. Maybe that's what it does. I thought there'd be like a dedicated PLL controller in there to really uh, to really make it very accurate in its frequency lock. You can there's some uh, manual trim pots down in these little in this uh, RFI shield down there. That's pretty interesting. So under this can, um, there's the main output, RF output, and on the front panel there's an, the negative 30 dB test output. So the bolts will be for the test the TV or if you're going to hook this up to a spectrum analyzer or something, you'd hook it up there. Well, that's kind of interesting. The little cutouts for the trimmer pods in there. This is kind of shocking, no pun intended. Look at the look at the quality of those solder connections in there. Look at all look at the they're pretty crusty. <laughs> they haven't even bothered to put the pins through the hole. They're just kind of floating on the surface or surface mounted on the board. That's and it's just big blobs, big blobs of solder on there. That's not the greatest, but I think it still would work. It's just not the best, <laughs> and not the best at all. So that was just a quick look at the Holland HPM55 AV modulator. Yeah, there wasn't there wasn't a ton in here, but in, in their data sheet they said it was low cost, so I didn't think that there'd be too much very, very expensive stuff in here. Because they're just getting, they're getting it they're making it for low cost so but anyways that was just a quick tear down of it just to see what's inside see you next time.